uh, for example, historically in the black community, you've typically had like one or two leaders that are one that are individuals that get held up and everyone looks up to that person and then they come along and say, okay, if we kill that guy right there, we can destroy the whole movement. We kill Malcolm, we kill Martin. Then the whole community is going to fall apart. Then we get the rappers to rap about it systematic. They don't make the bulk of their money by making custom car remember uh these radio stations when they bought all the radio stations they didn't say let's buy one big radio station and kill the whole black community spirit they said let's buy thousands of them through clear channel and what we're going to do is we're going to consistently broadcast music that's going to get your black boys addicted to drugs and sent to prison or killed or killing each other at an early age right do you get what i'm saying right systems system 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 do you follow what i'm saying right so effectively the way you challenge that system is you look at this kid and you say okay this kid what he did was amazing but that, but he's 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 pretty much just a prototype. He's a prototype, right? So so you study the prototype and you say, okay, what was different about how this kid was raised that made him do something that's so um, extraordinarily unique right now, right? That, that's so different from what everybody else did. He wasn't. He didn't grow up saying, I want to be a football player, a basketball player per se. Maybe he did. He's kind of big, but 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 eventually he pivoted to the point where he's not just an engineer, but he's also uh, an, an entrepreneur that's doing all these amazing things. His company's worth a hundred million dollars, right? Well, well, here's the thing.